where do you put Jason Tatum in the list of stars remaining in the playoffs, right? Because I'll just go west to east, all right? Mm -hmm. You've got SGA in Oklahoma City. Yep. You've got Jokic in Denver. Mm -hmm. uh, Ant Edwards in Minnesota. Luka Doncic in Denver or Dallas, all remaining. And you, so you have okay. three of the top four MVP MVP voters. Voters there in the East. You have Jalen Brunson. Actually, no, that is the top three. Or you have Jason Tatum, uh, Jalen Brunson, Tyrese Halliburton, Donovan Mitchell. Those are those are the guys remaining yeah. in the East. Okay, got. Give me a ranking one through eight because look, it, as much as you want to say it's. Team basketball, team basketball. Last time we saw team basketball win a title was the Detroit Pistons. Yeah. Okay. And, oh, by the way, they had five All-Stars. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They were, they were a really damn good Pretty team. Pretty decent. Okay. But where do you put Tatum in that, that list of eight right there? Because Jokic is going to be number one, one. Yeah, one Jokic. You can split hairs over SGA or Luka, two, three. You can have them either way. Four... I'd put Brunson at four because it's yeah. not just one year. We're, we've seen this now it's two years, and this year is just on another he's level. He's just on an absolute tear right now. Yeah. Five. Now you have Ant Edwards, Jason Tatum, Donovan Mitchell, Tyrese, Tyrese Halliburton. Those are your those are your remaining Look, four. Ant's got all the heat, but it's Tatum. Oh. It's, how many NBA finals has Anthony Edwards been to? Uh, How many conference none. finals? Has uh, been to? Zero. Okay, zero. They won. They they won a playoff series. Though. Yeah, there you go. They're third in their franchise's history. But I will say, what I see from Ant Edwards is something projects that to Ant, be beyond. But but it's something that we still haven't seen from Jason Tatum though, which is put a team on your back in crunch time and say, let's go. Dr you, you know, dragging guys up the mountain. Where Tatum, we have we seen Jason and Jason Tatum. It has been really good in the playoffs. They, but they, it is... He, he has. When things go uh, sideways on you, okay, is he the guy dragging you up the mountain? He, and this thing is, I, I want to uh, bust his balls because he has fallen on his face. I love Jason Tatum, by the way. Like, you and I would go, went through this last year in the playoffs. Right. I love Jason yeah. Tatum, and you, you are like, not. Look, I, I'm not taking away from his greatness because he is a great player. Like his career average in the playoffs is 24, 8, and 5. 24, 8, and 5 He's on good. 44, 35, 83. Like, but you take a look at, at some of his series, is, it's, it gets a little. Like one playoff run, he's shooting forty two percent. This playoffs, he's shooting forty one percent overall. Like you start looking at stuff, and you're like, he has these little bumps, but he also had one uh, one playoff round where he averaged thirty six and seven. Like, but I I look at it as not series moments, right? He's falling because on isn't his that face. where isn't that where a star mm -hmm. is born in? That's what makes what Jalen Brunson has been doing so in this playoff run, and really what he's he 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 has done previously, so damn impressive is that they get they drag teams into deep water, and then they just say Brunson goes not today. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold on for dear life, and I don't. I want to give Tatum credit because he's been doing it longer. Like that's that's the thing, and absolutely. And then and then after that it's Donovan, then it's Ant, then it's. Then it's Tyrese. And again, about doing it longer. Donovan Mitchell's playoff numbers cannot be bleeped with. Remember what he was doing in Utah? Crazy. I mean, the, the dude. Remember come, the bubble series? Him and him and Luca? He, oh, no, him and Jamal. Jamal, Jamal yeah, Jamal yeah. Murray. Look, ah. Donovan Mitchell is a playoff dude. Yeah. Like, come winning time, don't have to question it. And I'm probably underselling him. He should probably be over Tatum in all in all seriousness. But I have Tatum there because they have been there over and over and over. And it's not in spite of him, because that's going too far. No. But there are times when, man, you're like, <sighs> okay, dude, look. I And this gets boiled down to, to, to box scores way too much, because what ends up happening a lot with Tatum is he does draw all 10 eyes on the floor. 
But I don't know if, if when he draws all ten eyes, he's really lifting everybody up all the time. He's making the right read, but is he making the best read? Is he is he getting off the ball too soon? Is he deferring some of that responsibility? Is he not taking the ball in moments that he should be? Like well, those are like, and you're you're talking about like on the margins of superstardom. There's never been a, to me in the modern day era of basketball. There's never been somebody like Tatum who is absolutely unquestionably talent wise one of the five most talented players in the league. No doubt about it. Like there are, there the, are times where you're like it's it, he reminds me of Brandon Roy. Yeah. He, he like the, the smoothness the and the fluidness. Flow, yes. The ability just to, I hate his jumper, but yes. But it, it, here's where the big difference in, in that is is that you mentioned like in those moments the ability to take the ball, handle the ball. Think about your Jason Tatum moments. Run off the top of your head. Uh, I go back to like, what was it his rookie year in the conference finals? Mm-hmm. His rookie year in the conference finals, he made a couple of big shots. People were like, that's it. Like moments. Yeah, he just hasn't had many moments. Yeah, he's been good, but in moments in the finals against the Warriors, remember he just ghosted, ghosted. Jalen Brown couldn't go left, and he couldn't or wouldn't take a shot. But I also think that like. I think we unfairly lump him into like go beat the Warriors. Who who's done that? <laughs> you know what I Cavs. mean? <laughs> the Cavs with LeBron James. But also that that was a different Warriors team. Yeah. But it, I think it, a lot of that was just like they were in as much like the. Do we have the the Tatum audio? Yes, we do. Okay, you, you've got to play this because this is why I I can't wrap my head around. This is Jason Tatum following last night's game. I mean, that's the narrative that you might see on TV. The idea that we have a super team. It's twofold, right? We didn't have a coach of the year. We didn't have an MVP. We only had two All Stars. So they say we're a super team, but you know we didn't get rewarded like we are. Uh, but you know we know we got a good team. We're not perfect. We play the right way more often than not, and we know we got to be better. But you know, for I guess saying people that are, are spoiled from our success, you know, we don't pay attention to those things. Uh, we just go out there and control what we can't control. We don't pay attention to those things that I just listed off to you that we very clearly have all talked about. How did we not have coach of the year? How did we not have the MVP? How did we not have more all-stars? So are you saying that there's no pressure on you because you didn't have those things? Because everybody yeah. talked about you in the sense of like you set up a, a, a nearly an all-time record for being one of the best offenses in NBA history. But I... I... I also don't think we regard them as a super team. I think we do, but it's a different we kind do. of super team because of exactly what we're talking about with Tatum, is that he's not that guy, despite finishing, yeah. what, fifth or sixth in the uh, MVP polls. I ha- Actually, he, I have something that may explain, mm. may explain where he's coming from because that is, that's a tough one to wrap your head around because they were the best team in the NBA start to finish this season, right? Like, mm-hmm. he, he's playing the... We get a lot of respect, but no respect at the same time. Mm-hmm. There is something that may ring very true, and last night's loss made it that much more hilarious. 